Hey, what is up guys? My name is Calum or Calum's Fish Tanks and this is Planet Tank Science where I combine my love for planet tanks and my love for science into a video to hopefully teach you guys something new you didn't know about your aquarium. So let's get started. This video specifically will be focused around trimming your plants and how to trim them to get really dense and bushy growth as well as how to trim different kinds of plants. But before we get started, I have a couple things to talk about you may have noticed. Uh, my background is a little different. We now have a rack and the whole top shelf is empty. So stick around because this summer I've got a lot of new projects upcoming and I'm also gonna try to start doing vlogs every single week and just record all the stuff I do in my fish room to give you guys an idea of, of what's going on. So I have no idea when I'm gonna be starting these weekly vlogs but I recommend clicking the bell button or the subscribe if you're new around here to get updates on, uh, on when that starts. Let's talk about trimming plants. So to do this video I bought this brand new whiteboard. Uh, hopefully I have some more use for it. But this is just the best way I think for me to explain my thoughts and to draw it out for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's first start out with what are stem plants. Basically it's any plant that falls into one of the ge these genuses here. So Rotala, Limnophilia, Hygrophila, Ludwigia, Pogostemon, and Bacopa. And now there's a couple exceptions and there's a couple I probably forgot. But uh, this is pretty much the basics of almost all the stem plants. So let's talk about how you trim these specifically. So let's paint out a little scenario now. So you have two stems of your Rotala rotundifolia and it's getting close to the top of the tank and you want to trim it. So what you're going to want to do is trim it a little lower than you think you would. And those two stems you're going to replant. Now after trimming both these plants have to start to recover. These plants in the blue are the two we just trimmed and replanted. And these have to develop roots. Now this will take the plant a little while because it's difficult to do. But these stems in the green, what they will do is they will develop over time two new side shoots. So they will look like this. We could then go on to trim our rotellas up here at the top of the tips and not replant them. And what this will lead to is these will sprout new tips the blue ones will also sprout new tips. I'm just going to put those in green. And then it'll get a lot denser along the top. This is what gives you that canopy look. But with the canopy look, the problem is eventually these lower leaves will get no light. So all your lower leaves will start to die and you'll have bare stems. So all these bare, all these stems are pretty bare. Now this obviously won't look good, especially if you look at the tank from the back, but if there's plants in front, you won't be able to see these dead leaves, but what you will be able to see is little aerial roots coming down from these stems. And that's how you know it's time to trim off the tops of these plants. So we trim off the tops and then we remove all of this bottom area, you want to pull that out of your tank and those arrow roots you want to put down into the substrate. And now these, these will allow you to get super dense growth in your aquarium. Now a couple stem plants are a bit different. The ones with much wider stems or can get much wider stems, things like Pogostemon erectus, Ludwigia glandulosa, or even Limnophilia aromatica. What happens when you trim these plants is this. So you trimmed it there, and then from there, you see down here you have a very thick stem. You're going to get a bunch of little tiny stems. And what will eventually happen is these will start to grow bigger, and then they'll get a couple, couple inches tall, put on a tiny bit of, of width. I'm not drawing all the side leaves, but they'll get about that tall, and then this, start, this will start dying and becoming yellow. And then at that point, you'll have to retrim those four stems or so off the top. Now how big these stems will get before that starts dying all depends on how much CO2 you're pumping in, how strong your light is, basically how good the conditions are in your tank for that specific plant. So for plants like Pogostemon erectus, Ludwigia glandulosa, or uh, Limnophilia aromatica, I recommend letting them grow as tall as possible before you trim them because they just look a lot better in the aquarium and will look a lot better in your aquascape. So now let's answer some questions about how high your plant should be when you trim them and how low you should trim your plants. Now this all depends on the setup itself, how good your lights are and all that stuff. So for example, this tank, it's about, it's probably about a 30 centimeter cube, I would have to guess. We've got 
some nice rocks, a nice Monte Carlo carpet, and in the back we have some Ludwigia Palastris. So when would you want to trim this? When it gets a bit closer to the light, it would be probably best when it's at its tallest, but how low would you trim this? So here we have some rocks, and you would use these to your advantage and trim them along here. Now this way, you'll hide the fork that your plants make when you trim them, and this just looks a little ugly because as time goes on, these bottom leaves are all going to die, and it's just going to be roots and stuff, so you want to hide that in your skin. So we're going to replant those two tops, you know, down here, make it a little bushier, and then where the stem is behind, it's going to split, like so, and that'll lead to much bushier growth, and it'll look a lot better. There I drew in all the leaves to give you a better idea of how much more full this will be, just off trimming two stems and replanting them. That's about what it would be like. These are just drawings, you know, not not overly accurate, but it gives you the right idea of what would be going on in your aquarium. So you basically want to trim your plants to hide this portion right here, this little split here, because everything under here will lose its leaves fairly quick and just look bad. So you kind of want to hide this in the tank whether that's in front of hardscape, you have like a rock here, or you have other plants in front of it that will grow up and hide where that split in your plant is. This is basically how people do this in crazy, crazy, crazy Dutch aquascapes. Mine's pretty new, so I'm not at that level yet. I'm still in the, the replanting phase where after I trim my plants, I have to replant them and stuff. But eventually, with good technique, this can, this can lead to super stunning stem plants in your aquarium as well. Now if you can learn to use these techniques I talked about in this video, with highlight and CO2 you can get something like this tank I'm about to show. This is my 24 gallon Dutch style aquascape. It's only a month old, in this tank I've applied all the skills I taught today, and it's doing super well so far. I mean the growth and the dent denseness isn't as good as it can get, but that's just because my growth has been relatively slow because I'm really focusing on red colors, and for that you have to keep your fertilizers low. There's a bit more to it, and for that reason I'll link up my red plant guide uh, so you guys can go check that out yourself so you can figure out how to get reds like mine. But anyways guys, I hope you guys learned something new here. Let me know, leave a like below if you did learn something new, or leave a comment. But anyways guys, this was Kilm's Fish Tanks. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.